Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over ordered lists. So an ordered list is just what it sounds like. It's a list of items where the order is important. So it's important to the sequence. For instance, over here on the Wells Fargo website, they have, uh, looks like it's for doing a mortgage pre-qualification here, and they've got these three steps that they want you to accomplish. Over on uh, CBS website for the David Letterman show. Um, they have the top 10 list, but notice they have uh, this ordered list in reverse order. The order is still important, but they wanted to do reversed. So we'll check that out. So I've got a plain page here set up. Haven't created a, my ordered list yet, so I'll go ahead and do so. I'll give myself some room to work though. And I'm going to start off with a set of OL tags. Okay, so the OL tags create an ordered list, and just like the unordered list, you would use two or more sets of list items in order to create in here. Now with the ordered list, of course, the sequence is important to you. So for instance, if I was going to do steps for changing a bike tire, I might say um, remove tube from flat tire. The next step, of course, will be to patch the tube or get a new one. And of course, we'll go ahead and put in the last step as install the patched or new tube. And it kind of has to be done in this order. So the order is important, hence the ordered list. Now, by default, I'll just go into control as to save. By default, we're going to see this display in uh, Arabic numerals, which is the what you're probably going to want most of the time. In fact, that's what we see on the Wells Fargo site, and that's what we see on the David Letterman site. Just before I started recording, I was hunting around real quick to see if I could find some examples of lists that were using Roman numerals, and I couldn't find one really quick, but we could do that too. So by default, you got Arabic numerals. So if that's all you needed, you are done with your ordered list. Let me show you a couple attributes you can put here in the ordered list tag, the opening ordered list tag, to enhance this. We can just put in the attribute reversed. That's all it is. It's just reversed. And by putting that in, oops, let me do a uh, save. There we go. So now we can see I've got three, two, one. And you would do this kind of like they did for the CBS website, where they wanted to show these items in reverse order. It's pretty popular in blogs if you maintain a blog to occasionally do like a, you know, top five things to do this, or five steps to this, or nine steps to that. Well, this could be another way to present that information. Let me show you another ordered list attribute I like. Instead of reversed, I'm going to put in start equals four. And by doing this, my list will start with the number four, four, five, six, instead of one, two, three. Now, where this would come in handy, let's say you start off at the top of your page, you have uh, the first three items of some steps, one, two, and three, and then you discuss things using paragraphs or images for a while, and then you want to continue that list at a different part of the web page. It's a new ordered list, but you want to continue the numbering so that way your reader knows that this is simply a continuation of the previous list. So you would simply start where you want to start. So that's pretty nice there too. So you have the reversed attribute and the start attribute. I'm going to go ahead and remove that though so it defaults to the one. And the last few things I want to show you are going to be on my CSS file. So I've already got a CSS file. I'm going to set a new rule up for my ordered list. And I just wanted to show you list style type. By default we get our Arabic numerals. And you notice there's lots of choices here. Um, for the different things that I can do, but I want to stick with some of the most common that you might do. For instance, um, we can do upper alpha, and that will give me uppercase lettering, lower alpha, just what you thought, lowercase lettering. We can do lower Roman for lowercase Roman numerals, upper Roman. For uppercase numerals, and um, there's another one, decimal, which is pretty much the same Arabic numerals with a decimal. But here's here's a little variation of this one that I like. I like a decimal leading zero, and decimal leading zero does this for me. So this way, if my list goes out, they say all oh, nice and nice and aligned up. There are other things you can put for a list style type for an ordered list, but those are the most commons that um, we just checked out. Yeah. <laughs>